time to open our Lizzie and Liz box, y'all. I'm goofy. So y'all already know what time it is. We are about to get into our Lizzie and Liv subscription box. They have switched up the color to this nice little fuchsia. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Um, but let's get into it. If you are new here, I have a whole playlist if you want to know more about this box. But basically, this box was made for and made by black women. There's not a lot of subscription services, in my opinion, that have women of color in mind when they're putting together palettes or makeup, etc. So it's nice to see that we have something that caters to us, hence the melanin queen on the cover. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into this box. Um, again, like I said, I have a whole playlist if you want to see past boxes. Basically the subscription service, I believe is $49. You can cancel at any time. You do accumulate points uh, each month you renew your subscription or each month they charge you. So you can put that towards a discount on a box or if you want to get something extra in your box. Without further ado though, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and jump into our box. Okay. So, as always, the first thing I'm going to start with is our Jet Magazine. I'm loving this whole cover. Very pretty. Basically, what this tells you is the retail value of everything in your box. It also has cute little articles, and there's always a frequently asked questions. But y'all know my favorite is to look at the actual customers of Lizzie and Liv. If you go onto your social media page, and wear any of your merchandise, like you always get a t-shirt tab. You always get a t-shirt and our hat something to wear. So if you go on your social media and tag them, they go ahead and put you in the magazine, which I think is really, really cute and sweet. Recognize the root of your strength. Go read that. I don't like to go into this much until I get into the box because it'll tell me what's in it and I want to be surprised just like y'all. But yeah, this is always good to um, peruse through when you first get your subscription box. All right. And the first thing I see when I open the box is seasoning. Now this is new. Majority 90, I wouldn't say 90, I'm gonna say 80% of my channel is about food. Y'all know I love to cook. Y'all know I'm greedy. So this is spice blend, coriander, cinnamon, etc. Taste of Africa. Now I made that face because I am not a fan of coriander. It kind of tastes like dish soap to me. However, since it's a blend, I try it. I try it. I don't know what I'm gonna cook with it. Um, I'll maybe look up some recipes, but this is really cool. It says taste of Africa, blended spices. I'm trying to see what else is in here. Okay, sea salt, coriander seeds, cinnamon, green peppercorn, garlic, ginger, thyme. That's a good blend. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. And I love how it has um, a fresh grinder, if you can tell, just basically seeds. It's always, if you cook, you know it's always better to get something you can grind with yourself because it just tastes fresh. And the next thing I see, coconut bowl and spoon. This is really cute. Let me open this up. And child, is it really a coconut? Y'all think this is truly a coconut. Very lightweight, but it feels just like the shell of a coconut. And I think they just probably glazed it and it comes with a little wooden spoon. Super cute. I probably wouldn't use this to eat out of or something like that. I would probably use this as a decorative piece, maybe put something in it, not potpourri. Maybe, because I am an auntie, maybe I'll put some potpourri. But something in here and set this up like on a shelf as like a decorative piece, I would eat out of it. But this is very cute. I have never seen this before. It's literally a coconut. It's not like a perfectly round shape, if you can see that. That's crazy, y'all. I'm not mad at it. I'm cool with my coconut bowl. And the next thing I see is some jewelry. 
and I love getting jewelry. It's very colorful. Okay. So we got these little dangly earrings, very bright and vibrant, the colors. Now, honestly, I tend to go for things like this, like these little stud earrings. I get, I don't know why, I think because I used to like wear these when I was younger and I would always like carry or hold the child and they would just like try to rip the stuff out of my ears and kind of traumatized. But I never really gravitate towards dangly earrings, but I think these are cute and I would definitely rock this. Maybe with like a cute little red summer dress or even blue. There's so many colors uh, in these earrings. Kind of get the back back on. But this is very cute, very summery. I'll definitely rock these. I think they would look cute with the braids and I plan to have my hair in different kind of braids and twists all of this year. So definitely feeling these. And I see, child, this is big and colorful. Now, like I said, you normally get some kind of t-shirt and item to wear. This is very like either long or fluffy or poke. Is this a skirt? I love skirts. Y'all think this is a wrap skirt. Yes. And this is definitely a wrap skirt. This is so, I know you probably can't hear me, but this is so cute. Girl with a black leotard. And normally I don't like leotards. Maybe I'll just do like a t-shirt. Cause like when you have to go, you messing with the thing in the middle. I don't like it. But um, definitely a black shirt. This is really cute. I am such a skirt and dress person, especially in the summertime, in the winter. I don't like wearing pants. I don't like wearing shorts that much. I will definitely rock me a skirt and or a dress. I love this. Again, since there's so many colors going on, I would definitely rock this with a solid black. You know, that's just my personal opinion. A white, I don't think would go with this just because there's no white in the skirt. But definitely a black, y'all. This is very cute. I would definitely rock this very spring because it has so many colors. It don't go with the earrings. I was looking at the earrings, but no, it don't go with the earrings. And the last thing I see is, I think, a black t-shirt. Well, they're trying to get a whole outfit together, y'all. If I just said a black tee or even a leotard. I think something a little tighter since the skirt is a little flowy. Let me see. And it's a T. Now it's a black T, but then on the back, they have kind of this tribal print, which is cute. This is very cute, something you just throw on. I would rock this with um, some tights, maybe even some white shorts, child, and my white, and my white Converse outfit. But yes, you will always get stuff to wear in your Lizzie and Live box. This is very cute, very low key. I'm very low key when it comes to my clothing. Usually I rock neutrals, not a lot of colors. So this is right up my alley. So just to recap, sorry, I had to adjust my camera. So just to recap everything that we got in said box, we got a Taste of Africa Spice Brand, which I'm really interested in using. I love African food, but I've always been intimidated to try to cook, so look up some recipes and definitely gonna try this out. I love cooking. We got our coconut bowl, which I'm not gonna use as a bowl. This is going up on somebody's, uh, you know, mantle and our shelf. I'm gonna get something to go in here. I haven't taken, I think y'all have seen my living room on a clean with me, but basically my living room is chocolate and cranberry and tan. So this fits, this will be going up somewhere, or maybe some cranberry stuffing or something like not stuffing to eat y'all but something to like put in here that matches the other decor or color theme i have so got the coconut bowl we got our colorful dangle earrings which i'm gonna buy a whole outfit my spouse don't know but i'm gonna buy a whole outfit to go with these what else did we get we got our colorful long wrap skirt now let's just have a little conversation real quick if you are team short like me, I don't know if you know, but I am 5'2", not very tall. Wrap skirts are usually a problem for us because they don't be thinking about us short women when they think of wrap skirts. All you have to do if you have a wrap skirt is go ahead and roll it or fold it till you get it to the desired length and then go ahead and tie it. 
I done did it all on my live channel. So if you get this subscription box and this looks like it's gonna be long on me, my little short self, just fold it up top, baby, and you'll be fine. Trust me, I've done it. But anyway, we got the wrap skirt situation and we got our cute basic black tee with the white tribal situation on the back. Again, love this box. The only thing that I'm gonna have to think about really is the coconut bowl. Gotta figure out where I wanna put this and what I wanna put inside. Other than that, loving everything, I always use everything in my box. There's never been a box where I'm like, mm, what were y'all thinking? I think that's really good because I used to do Etsy, not Etsy, what's that little subscription <sighs> bag where it comes with like the little sample makeup? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Girl, and they never had anything for my complexion. They would send the same things over and over. Like I had so many eyeliners and so many mascaras. Like I just could have flipped them if I really wanted to have a side business type of thing. It was just horrible. And I felt like every month I was wasting my money. So I just gave up subscription boxes, period, just because it left a really bad taste in my mouth. Cause I felt like that particular brand, maybe it's good that I don't remember their name. That particular brand did not have me in mind at all when they were thinking of what to put in the box what um, makeup brand or skincare lines to you know become a partner with for it when i found out about lizzie and live i really got excited because it was finally something for you know pe a woman of color a black woman so i'm always gonna support but i am always gonna be honest and tell y'all something is trash or if i don't like it but i generally always love everything I get in the box, all the t-shirts I have worn. Who don't need t-shirts? Even if you don't wanna wear it outside or whatever, girl, to work out in lounge around your house, what's not? You know, I don't, it's, it's always a good thing when I get my Lizzie and Liv box. But again, it is $49 for the subscription service. I always feel like my box is well worth $49. I'm always getting the bang for my buck. You can cancel at any time. If you'd like to try out said box, there is a referral link in the description box. I do not get paid for these videos. I don't know how many times I've gotten a message like, girl, did I pay you? No, but Lizzie Liv, if you watching, if you wanna talk about payments, we can also do that. But as of right now, these are not sponsored videos. Uh, I pay for this box with my own coin. And again, I'm honest, y'all know I'ma tell you if it's trash, I don't mean the brand is trash, but maybe the box is a little bit off that month. But every box that I have gotten, I've used everything in it and I have enjoyed it. So, I'm going to stop with my little rant. And in this video, thank you guys so much if you made it this far. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me know to keep filming stuff like this for you. It also gives YouTube a heads up like they like sis. Let's push her videos out. Until next time, y'all. Bye.